What an incredible last 24 hours it's been. Yesterday morning, I appeared on the morning breakfast show that plays nationwide called AM, where I talked about my organization and community I'm adopted. Of course, when it comes to anything that's live on TV, I get nervous, but I know the cause is so important and it's been absolutely worth it. And with this broadcast yesterday, we got the chance to film a little bit of the behind the scenes. So take a look at this. I combined it with the actual interview that played on TV. <laughs> Enjoy. We've sent William to check out how one Kiwi non-profit helps connect adoptees around the globe. I'm Adopted is the latest charity to be chosen for Zed's Good in the Hood. Hey William, tell us more. Yeah, Morena Mal, happy Tuesday. We're here in Epsom and we're at the I'm Adopted offices and we're with the man himself, Alex Gilbert, the I'm Adopted founder. Mate, it's so good amazing to be here, to be here with Thank you because you so you're much. an amazing human. Oh, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Bro, tell us about it. Tell everyone at home what I'm, I'm Adopted's all about. So I'm Adopted is an organisation community that I founded in 2015 after I did a search for my own birth family about 10 years ago and I wanted that peer-to-peer -peer support. So creating that a few years later, I'm adopted is so important because I know that so many adoptees want to connect with each other and that's so vitally important. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where the Z Good in the Hood funds are going to help you out. Absolutely. Base there. Yeah, so we want to set up more meetups, more get togethers, and more online resources for adoptees because with using Z Good in the Hood, it's been great because we can use that to utilize on a bigger scale, more meetups for adoptees. And that's what you wish that you had um, growing up. Absolutely. You know? When I was growing up in Whangarei, I always, you know, I asked questions about where I came from and having that support. We had a small network growing up, but when you become an adult, you want to have a bigger support. You want to connect with more adoptees, whether it's online or in person. And having somewhere to look at or having some access to somewhere, I think it's really important to have. All right, mate. I saw, I saw this. You put this right in front of me earlier. Um, tell us about why you have this. Mate. I set up a YouTube channel and it's helping, you know, I'm, I'm sitting down with more adoptees, sharing their stories and creating these incredible stories where other adoptees can watch the stories online, um, listen to their experiences because it is helping because I know that it helps adoptees not feel so alone. Yeah, for, but for your own journey, you've been all around the globe as well. Can you tell us a bit about that because that's amazing. Well, I've been, I've been filming some stories overseas uh, with more adoptees, meeting adoptees everywhere. We've done meetups everywhere. Here in New Zealand, though, nationwide, there is a few thousand adoptees. So wow. I've, met a, I've met many of them and many who have also come from my orphanage as well that I've connected with and many that I've helped on the side connect with the birth family with, oh, with searches. What a legend, <laughs> but we're going to catch up a little bit later with a, another adoptee as well. So do not go anywhere because we're going to catch up with them. Thank, Thank you, you William. Thank you. Legend, brother. Thank you. We have to show you how to use one. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I covered everything. Now we filmed this at the adoption agency who share the office with our organization I'm Adopted. Now Wendy joined us who is the director of the agency as well as Valentina. Now Valentina, I helped her last week just connect with the birth family for the very first time. And here, before we went live, this was the first time that I actually met Valentina. But the time went fast and it wasn't long until we kicked into the second part of the interview. We're back with William now, who is with the team from I'm Adopted. It's a Kiwi charity which enables adoptees to be part of a worldwide community. And William is back with us now. Hey, William. Morena, Ryan, look at this. Well, our group's grown a little bit since last time. We started with Alex Gilbert here earlier from I'm Adopted. We've got Wendy now from ICANS, which is Intercountry Adoption New Zealand. And she's the executive director. And we've got Tina over here, the amazing Tina, who's an adoptee. I'm going to leave this up to you guys because you've got a lot to talk about here. So I might as well get out of the room. <laughs> here we go. Don't, don't, don't run away too fast. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is Wendy. And she actually helped facilitate my adoption all those years ago, which makes it of such a small world. And with us at I'm Adopted, we share the office with ICANN. So we work together after all these years later. And Tina, she reached out to me just recently after connecting through our I'm Adopted community because she wanted to reach out to peer support within the network and it's also helped to track down her own family too. It is absolutely crazy. Wendy, I want to talk about how, how crazy is that that you've helped him out now he's jumped on board with you so many years ago. Oh, it's so fantastic to have Alex's help because many adopted people years later do want to know their roots. Sometimes we use DNA through my heritage, that's a useful way to find people. Other times Alex is able to search and find relatives. What about for you, Tina? How amazing is it to use that support group to, to get you finding your family? It's, it's been a true source of support for me, um, finding out that I have two uh, 
brothers here in New Zealand that are younger than me is just incredible. And she's only just known this, found this information out within the last week, so it's still a huge, it's, it's massive. So thank you very much for being able to share that with us and the AM viewers at home. But it's crazy. It's, well, <laughs> it's, cra it's crazy. I, I, when I connected with some of her birth family just last week, and they said to me, hold on a minute, there's actually two brothers also adopted to New Zealand. I remember I told Tina, I said, Tina, you have two brothers here who live only a few hours away from you. And she couldn't believe it. It's just unbelievable. That's, a lot, that's one of the searches I do on the side. But with I'm Adopted, of course, we're a community of support so she reached out to the community for that support because it's so important you need to have that because you don't know what's going to happen you've got to be prepared for anything that comes your way listening to all the stories and you know just getting the peer support has helped Aww. all the stories the videos sorry it's <laughs> just a back and forth here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's it's so important and with wendy us being involved with wendy and icans it really helps it helps us a lot yeah well yours and wendy's synergy synchronicity and fluidity has really brought this uh this to life this morning so thank you very much for your time but you wanted to make a shout out yes. so i'm going to give you the last word tina to my son lachlan <laughs> he'll be at daycare he'll be at daycare yes so better not be up to any mischief there lachlan but, uh, <laughs> thank you very much uh zed good in the hood and uh, again we'll finish with that actually zed good in the hood's helped you with uh, these funds which you're going to use for at the end of the year you've got yep uh, we're going to set up a gathering we're going to try and grow some more resources and use that. So we're very, very grateful for that. So thank you, Zed Good in the Hood, and thank you for having us on. As is, is that. That's us from the I'm Adopted and ICANN's offices. Have a fantastic Tuesday. Much what love. What an awesome community. Well we're getting a lot of emails in supporting you. Okay. okay. <laughs> you added, a, you added some good stuff there. I was in the middle. Oh, shit. It's good. It was so good to be able to raise this awareness yesterday and the feedback and support and everything, even donations through to our organization. All of you, thank you all so much. And thank you Zed Energy for giving us the privilege of being a part of the 2023 Good in the Hood campaign. I'm so proud of this, proud of this journey, proud of the community, proud of everything that we've been doing this year to grow the community and this entire organization around the country and across the world. Thank you all so much. Look after yourselves and until next time, Dasa Dania is Nova Zelandi. Is possible for sure. Paka.